Hello and welcome to Singapore's Changi Airport, where today we'll be flying with Singapore Airlines award-winning business class to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Will it live up to the hype? Well, stick around and let's find out. Welcome to Singapore Airlines Flight SQ494, a daily service between Singapore and Dubai. The flight covers a distance of just over 3,600 miles, with a scheduled flight time of 7 hours and 40 minutes. For this route, Singapore Airlines flies an Airbus A350-900. This particular A350 is fairly new, having been in service for just over three years. Changi is consistently recognized as one of the best airports in the world, and you can see why. The airport really is an example of what an airport should be like. Singapore Airlines has dedicated business class check-in counters, and check-in was smooth and efficient, with no lines, and minimal fuss. Within just a few minutes we were on our way through passport control and security and our next stop the Silver Chris Lounge. At Changi Airport Singapore Airlines operates two types of lounge the Silver Chris Lounge and the Chris Flyer Gold Lounge. This is one occasion where silver is actually better than gold. The Chris Flyer Gold Lounge is for Singapore Airlines Elite Members and Star Alliance Gold Flyers, whereas the Silver Chris Lounge is reserved exclusively for Singapore Airlines Business Class and First Class passengers. So if you have the choice, the Silver Chris Lounge is where you want to be. As far as business class lounges go, the Silver Chris Lounge is about as good as it gets. This lounge is big, but somehow manages to still feel cozy and intimate. Despite there being a lot of guests in the lounge, it never felt busy or overwhelming. There are plenty of seating options, whether you want to get some work done, eat a meal, more on that in just a second, or just chill. There are even seats which resemble your business class seat on the plane. Okay, let's talk about the food and drink offerings. Well, let's just say if you leave the Silver Chris Lounge hungry, you really only have yourself to blame. The food selection is just amazing. There are just so many options. And the food quality is just outstanding. And when it comes to drinks, the selection is also impressive. With Piper Heidsek Champagne, various liquor options, a selection of climate controlled wines, various cold drink options, including the famed Asahi Draft Auto Pour Machine, and of course, various coffee and tea choices. If you have a longer layover, the lounge offers showers, which are nicely furnished with everything you need to freshen up. And everything is impeccably clean. This is one of those lounges where it's worth getting to the airport early in order to spend more time in. So, somewhat reluctantly, we left the lounge and headed towards our gate for boarding. 
Boarding is pretty routine and of course business class passengers get priority boarding. And quickly and efficiently we are on the plane. Once seated, we are promptly offered a welcome drink. Champagne? Oh, okay, if you insist. As the rain continues to fall, we push back and taxi out to the runway. And a few minutes later, we are on our way. So with this being a seven and a half hour flight, this A350 has the regional medium haul configuration with 40 flatbed business class seats in a one to one staggered configuration. Every seat has a side table and direct aisle access. Alternate rows have the seat directly on the aisle or the side table between the seat and the aisle. I think most people will prefer the view and privacy of the window seats, with the direct window seat being the most private. Although couples might also like the honeymoon seats in the center. In addition to business class, this aircraft also offers 263 economy seats. Okay, time to check out the seat. So the seat is not only very stylish, but it's also very comfortable and practical. Being a medium haul cabin, the seat perhaps isn't the largest, but plenty big enough for this flight duration. There's a nice large tray table for dining or working, and a very practical side table for drinks or other items you want to keep close at hand without having to keep the tray table out. There's a pull-out mirror, a storage locker where you'll also find AC and USB charging ports, noise-canceling headphones, and a bottle of water. There's a remote for the in-flight entertainment system, controls for the seat, and not just one, but three reading lights. All in all, a very nice place to spend a few hours. The amenities kit is fairly low key, containing just a few essentials from the Penn Halligans brand. There's hand lotion, facial mist, and lip balm. There are also some additional items available on request like slippers, eye shades, and so on. Shortly after takeoff, there was a drinks service, and then the meal service started. The food selection wasn't the biggest, but definitely something for every taste. You can also reserve your meal online, or select special meal options. First up, chicken satay, one of my favorites. Now we have just spent the last two weeks in Southeast Asia and had plenty of satay, but my wife and I both agreed this was by far the best we'd had during the entire trip. Then out came the linens. I have to say, Singapore Airlines always has top quality service, always attentive and always friendly. I skipped the crab appetizer and went straight for the main course. Now I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one, let's just say I got the chicken. And it was excellent. And the drinks menu didn't disappoint either. The drink section of the menu was longer than some novels, going on for 13 pages. with a wide selection of champagne and wines, 
cocktails, spirits, beers, and an almost endless selection of coffee and tea choices. Okay, let's check out the in-flight entertainment system. The IFE uses a touchscreen display, I'm guessing about 18 inches, that will also tilt for better viewing. You can also operate it with the remote, which is a cool air mouse. There's a pretty good selection of movies and TV shows, lots of useful information, you can even browse the food and drink menus and a very cool interactive flight map system. Overall the system is intuitive, responsive and there's plenty of content to keep you entertained. There's also Wi-Fi internet available which is complimentary for Chris Flyer members. Okay, time for a nap. At the push of a button, the seat converts to a full flat bed. There is plenty of room and pretty good privacy. Hmm, pretty comfy. Good night. A couple of hours before arrival, there was a snack service. I went for the blackened chicken sandwich, which was really good. Next, time to freshen up before we start our descent. Pretty standard bathroom, nothing special. Back at my seat, we get the first glimpse of the UAE below us. And a few minutes later, with the light slowly fading, we touch down in Dubai. After a short taxi, we arrive at our gate, right on schedule. And soon after, it was time to deplane and say goodbye to the crew who took such good care of us on our flight. I guess one last thing to talk about is pricing. Now we used points for this flight, specifically Air Canada Aeroplan points. For the one-way flight from Singapore to Dubai in business class, we paid 60,000 points plus 100 Canadian dollars in fees. If you were to pay cash for this flight, the price starts at around 2,000 US dollars. We chose Singapore Airlines as they are consistently ranked as one of the best airlines in the world. And this flight didn't disappoint. Everything from start to finish was just superb. From the check-in, the lounge, the comfortable cabin, the exceptional food and service, I can definitely recommend Singapore Airlines. Be sure to check out the channel for more flight and travel reviews, and of course don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.